Son. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I am Brett, the Rotten Apples Undercover. Hand or hand. <laughs> I'm undercover because I'm undercover and I discover. Brett, literally no one, no one <laughs> will get that. No one on planet Earth knows the, who the yeah. Rotten Apples are until, or anything about them. Until our next short series podcast comes yeah. out. Yeah, until we're my National release, Geographic show gets Yeah, dude, aired. we're releasing a, do- a documentary about Brett's plight to find these fucking, like, people. Just to find any information on these people. No, we're definitely going to do it. That's the next project that we're like going to yeah. start. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. This is like the next step in the Thought Sauna multimedia progression. Yeah, this is the start of our company where we kind of branch <laughs> out to other things like documentaries mm. and, you know, just we've like 30-part series. We've gotten big enough to afford exactly one camera. <laughs> one digital camera. It's not yeah. even like a nice DSLR. It's like one of those old flip cameras. It's like one of the cameras we recorded like YouTube videos with in seventh grade. And it's yeah, also flip my camera. Mom's. Yeah, like just the little like handheld. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but does anyone remember the like flip cameras, right? Oh yeah, no, I had I had that, the like, flip camera. Yeah, those yeah, were... that had like the USB built into the side. Yep, and just yep. flipped it up. Those were really lame. Hey, fuck you. I was a vlogger. <laughs> All right. I made content while you sat and did nothing. Okay, thank you. And now who's that in the corner? Over there. I'm in the corner. Eating an apple juice oh. by himself. Eating the I don't like this thing that you've established about me, but it's me. Samuel back to school boy Risley. Mm, school. <sighs> how's Today that how's the, that brain feeling, Sam? You you ready for some education to get into you? I mean, I, I had my I had my first class this morning. Yeah, uh, how'd that go? Pretty well. I uh it was my uh uh what was it called? Uh it was Great. my uh where is it? What I mean? Oh, it, it's my uh, it it was my digital media for professional communications class. I have the like syllabus sitting right in front of me. Christ, that is a long and very specific name. <laughs> I I am a technical communications major. That means I specialized in teach. I am specialized in telling people how stuff do. And you're so good at it too. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> No, you heard my word. <laughs> you've you've heard the Whoa. words that leave my mouth. No, no. <laughs> like you you know how my mouth work. It not good. Yeah, that's why you're doing the classes to get it better. Yeah, yeah. That's why, you're in uh, that's, what, that's why specifically I am uh, I am focused on manual writing rather than like presentations. Sure, yeah. Which is also kind of cool, because Brett and Cyan, I don't know if I've told you about this, but I have realized I can use this to get in at probably the coolest company in the world. Rooster Teeth? No. Wizards of the Coast. The people who oh make my D&D God, the and D&D Magic of the Gathering. Company. Uh, Dude, of course I could will, go Sam. in and write books for D&D. Oh How my fucking God. cool would that be? Sam, that is what you were made and raised for. <laughs> That's what you were made in a tube for. <laughs> so anyone at Wizards of the Coast, if you're listening to this... <laughs> this counts as an application. So- if, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. And like, please don't hold this against me. Take a look back at anyway. all the thoughts on us. That's Sam's no, resume right there. Yeah. This is all Sam is in all... Uh, all he has to show. This podcast is his resume. Take a look at uh, these four specific episodes. I think they have the best Jimmy Neutron impressions in them. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We will be showing you the best uh, cowboy impressions, best Jimmy Neutron cast impressions. Mm -hmm. Uh, And wait, who's that? (laughs) Yeah, doing our intro under five minutes definitely didn't happen today. Uh, It definitely didn't happen. Yeah, we definitely didn't hit that mark. No, you got 15, you have 15 seconds. Keep going, just like real quick. No, well, no, wait a second. Well, should we should we have it so that we don't even introduce all of us before five minutes? Should we go for that record? Where it takes us five minutes to introduce all of our names? 
It's already happened. It's already five, five minutes. Hi, yeah, what's up? Go. It's Cyan Double Digits Haskins, and I'm Double Digits now. The big 2-0. Two, two years old. <laughs> <laughs> so many things Cyan are wrong fin- about the way we describe <laughs> my age. Yeah. Cyan finally grew her teeth. Yep, I have all 20 teeth now, and that means I'm 20 years old. <laughs> you get a tooth every year, and one, two, three, 20, she's got all of them. I got all 20. And oh. the episode that was released on my birthday was a backup episode <laughs> that Brett and I d- talked about and agreed wasn't the best. So I'm glad that was my birthday <laughs> It episode. was a fine, it was much better than I thought it was. It went off track st- quite a lot. I still have to listen to it. Yep, you sure do. But now while we're here, hey guys, why don't we record an episode right now? Hey, that's a good idea. Great. Yeah, man. Let's go ahead and do the intros real quick. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see if we can knock it out in three minutes. Yeah. All right, all right. No, I'm we'll... Sam Schoolboy Risley. Oh, okay, oh, wait. you're going first. Shit. Hi, welcome to Thoughts, Anna. Yeah. All right, please, without further ado, Sam, go into your law. All right. My law comes from Iowa. I have no clue if we've done I- a state law from Iowa yet. It specifically comes from Marshalltown, Iowa. All right. Horses are forbidden to eat fire hydrants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm glad you phrase it in a way that it gave me just enough time to picture. All right, grass, <laughs> an maybe apple, like an apple, a some bush, oats, <laughs> a fire. And then immediately imagine like a horse with its mouth stretched over an entire fire hydrant. <laughs> like a monstrous image of a horse eating a fire hydrant in well, like one go. I know I know horses do this thing called cribbing. Oh no, I don't I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> What's cribbing? Where it's, Sam? Um it's essentially like they latch onto something and they like suck mm. until mm-hmm. they're like basically stuck to it. Oh no. What I like Wait. let me let me look this up. What part of the body does what? is this the <laughs> mouth? I could only assume. Yes. Get stuck? Uh on what it crib Okay, cribbing uh involves a horse gr- a horse a horse grasping a solid object such as the stall door or fence rails within its incisor teeth, then arching its neck and contracting the lower uh <clears throat> the lower neck muscles to retract the larynx. This coincides with an inrush of air into the uh into the Oesophagus. Oh, it, it, it's just a weird way of saying esophagus. Uh, producing the charis, char, characteristic cribbing grunt. <laughs> a tech communications major, everyone. Yeah. Usually, the cribbing uh, grunt? I don't know uh, what that is. Uh, Usually, it, hey, to be fair, I would be uh, the one writing this, not reading it. Uh. Uh, usually air is not swallowed but returns to the pharynx. Wind sucking is a related ba- behavior whereby the horse arches its neck and sucks air into the windpipe but does so without grasping an object. Wind sucking is thought to form part of the mechanism of cribbing rather than being defined as an entirely separate behavior. Do you mean breathing? Is, yeah, is this how is they the breathe? horse just yeah. breathing on something, Sam? <laughs> the horse put something in its mouth and breathes. Did they have to make a oh. word for that? <laughs> there is evidence that stomach ulcers may lead to a horse becoming a cribber. <laughs> and that cribbing may be a coping mechanism in response to stress. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're telling me is this this horse kind of latched on to this fire hydrant because it was just stressed out. Maybe from work, I mean, maybe from I relationships. Guess. Causes, boredom, stress, habit, and addiction are all possible addiction. causes of cribbing. <laughs> oh, God. I, oh, I remember wow. the great hydrant disappearing of 2017 I, when a horse just went around and just couldn't get enough of them. I, I, uh, there's, ne- there's an entire, like, two-paragraph section called Negative Consequences. Oh, God. You know what? I was kind of already afraid of horses to begin with. Oh, I'm terrified of them. This 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 episode isn't. Doing Are you just well. terrified of them because they uh, you almost got killed riding a horse once, Sam? Yep. We were at Camp Allen, and there was a vine, a low hanging vine. 
<laughs> and Sam's hor- Sam just went off and he didn't see it. And he got it was the perfect position <laughs> no, to strangle no. him. I was try I was trying to steer my horse away from the low hanging branches, but it was like, eh, fuck you, Doc. And it just like <laughs> it just fucking like dragged so- me uh <laughs> into these bushes. I was like, ah, oh, damn, ah, oh, damn. And then something wrapped around my neck and I nearly did the hangman's jig. <laughs> Christian Cav, it was real fun. I was right behind yep. it. I was right behind him and I thought it was hilarious. Uh, looking back, could have been a little more <laughs> scary. <laughs> looking back. Yeah. But you know what? I gotta say, the next year we went, Brett was a real friend and just sat with me on the sidelines while everyone else went horseback riding because I was like, I'm not fucking doing that again. Yeah, I've never seen, like, what's so great about just, like, walking, riding a horse. Like, if they're galloping, like, jumping over stuff, that, you know, that's something else. But just walking along and just... All right, I guess I'm along for the ride. (laughs) I guess I'm getting hit by leaves. (laughs) Yeah. On top of the fact that, like, it strangled me for literally the rest of the week, it had, like, carved into my skin. It left its mark. It marked its territory. Yeah, it left its mark, dude. Like, it stung like a motherfucker. And, like, the counselor's like, all right, Sam, we gotta, like, rub this ointment on it, and that didn't feel good. So I sat in the counselor's office, like lying on the couch and they're like that don't look pretty and i was like yeah no shit (laughs) also i think we were like eight at the time so yeah there was also that yeah man horses suck horses suck and this horse in particular (laughs) that made this law happen whatever horse ate the goddamn fire hydrant probably like one made a safety hazard because first off that means water was just spewing out of the ground for who like god knows how long unless secondly unless yeah the mm -hmm. horse drank the water as well oh they they were like so thirsty they were so desperate for some water that it just ate all the fire hydrant with a fire hydrant Wait, I have heard stories of, like, this cribbing leading to horses getting, like, stuck to the thing they're cribbing on. Yes. And so, like, what if it, like, was cribbing on the fucking, uh, fire hydrant, the hydrant busted off, and then the horse was just stuck there getting sprayed with water. Get, he got what he deserved. Yeah, dude. That's what I think. Public menace number one not only caused damage, but ca- got himself caught. He got caught red-handed, red-hoofed, Red hoofed. I guess. Oh, God. No, this sucks. <laughs> I, wanna... I, I don't want to hear the word cribbing ever again. <laughs> like, I'm done with that word. I, Sam, would you do us a favor and look up a video of cribbing just so you could give us a simplified version of what it is? All right. This looks like the most fucking 90s info video ever it's called what is cribbing and how to stop your horse from cribbing great and oh that's a mustache from dr kenton morgan dvim d-a-c-t buyer senior technical uh service veterinarian great cool brilliant (laughs) can you skip to the cribbing part please i just want to know i just want to know what this looks like it literally just looks like this horse is like Gently and nervously making out with a pole. I don't like watching this. Yeah, baby. Wait a minute, I might like cribbing. Hey, what is? I don't like gentle horse and lips. nervous making out. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, don't lift up the horse's lips. Those teeth are bad. No. Okay. All right, you can stop now, Sam. Yeah, that. That's we got done. the picture. Dirty, dirty and nervous making out. I don't like the twitching of the lips. Okay, no. please. Okay, stop. no, we're done. Please <laughs> no. stop. Canceled. Segment canceled. Segment canceled. We're putting a muzzle on the horse. The segment canceled. We're putting. We're cutting this all out. <laughs> the law stays in act. Fire hydrants were for dogs <laughs> peeing on for cartoons. Oh, oh no. On to the next like... segment, please. Sam, uh, everything you do in your life is a choice. You can <laughs> close the tab. I already did, and I'm like haunted. I don't. 
the, the like nervous twitch of the horse lips is haunting uh, me. Everything you do is a choice. You don't need to tell us. <laughs> uh, okay, but great. But I gotta. Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay. Horses are bad animals. Let's. Like I. I okay. I would like Please. to. Please. <laughs> I would like Exhibit A, this... Bojack Horseman. That's it. <laughs> Moving on. I would like to I would like to end this segment by saying, if you love horses, that's fine. I don't fault you for that. I but do. I personally, as a human being, hate them. Their Sam fucking takes finger a stance. legs. Their, their, their finger legs and their like buck teeth and the weird nervous twitch of their lips as they make out with a pole. It's not cool, man. <laughs> all the common characteristics of a horse. Man, we're over halfway through the episode. Yeah, literally all of this sounds like a bad teenage dude who, like, cares nothing about, like, a girl's feelings. Great. Can we please move on to the next segment now? Can we get out there of this a... terrible segment horse limbo? There was a dude cribbing at prom. <laughs> what are you talking just... about? In... I'm was... enough. I have the thought. <laughs> and I thought this was going to be a pretty bad thought, but now compared to this, it might it might just be fine. This one comes from at the Weird World on Twitter. It says, "Maybe ghosts of insects you've killed come back to haunt you, and that's why it sometimes feels like a bug is crawling on when there actually is not." Ew. Yeah, I've heard this one before, and I've thought about it, and I said, "Yeah, I've probably earned that punishment." How many, how many bugs have earned your, have you earned their vengeance? Dude, my old apartment was real bad. Like there were roaches. And Just, you, you would go out and get your sword and like slice them up and stuff. I cut a wasp with a sword once. What? Flip flop. Yeah, it was an what? accident. <laughs> was it? Was it like in mid air? Was it active? Yeah. It was, was an it accident. Active? I, Dude, are you a ninja? I, I was like, I was hanging out with, uh, with or with our neighbors whose names I won't say on the podcast. Uh, he follows me on Twitter, redacted. by the way. <laughs> Regardless, uh, I was hanging out with them, and I had that fucking sword that I just like have, you know, because I was eleven and was like, well, anime, you know, I have to get a sword yeah. to be an anime kid, Gotta and train. I was just like swinging it around, being like, haha, I'm playing with a weapon. It wasn't sharp or anything. Um, but a wasp came at me and I, or it didn't come at me, but I saw it out the corner of my eye and I panicked and I just flailed the sword and I hit it down. Oh my God. Now, did you, you did the world a service. I, then I sprinted. I dropped the sword and sprinted oh, like yeah, any, sure, like dude. any other reasonable human would. I must've yeah. been like 12 or something. I thought you were going to slice it and then act like you did and that on act, purpose. Oh, fuck no, dude. I was terrified. It was it was fully accidental. I just <laughs> flailed the sword and screamed and dropped it and ran. D- did you ever think that you might have some hidden like ninja powers about you that you haven't awakened yet? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like you can... Like I thought that like maybe I could develop the Sharingan or something. Yeah, like that's yeah, what exactly. Did it. Like ninjas do. Yeah. Cutting the wasp was simply to t- to test her abilities. Yeah, it wasn't out of fear. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't believe that shit because I feel bugs crawl on me all the fucking time, and I make it a point not to kill bugs if I can help it. I mean, yeah, I've killed a few. I'm a no one's perfect. If but if I can help it, I don't kill a bug. And there's more bugs that I've killed that I think have crawled on me. Okay, so what do you think yeah. is crawling on you? What uh, what ghost do you think is crawling on you if it isn't bugs? A, the ghost of my future that I'm actively destroying. A chemical imbalance in my brain. Oh. <laughs> that that causes me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, or maybe it's just a bunch of little hands. That's even worse! Little hands from what? <laughs> From all the children you've slaughtered. Yeah, from all the people I've killed. Yeah. Because <laughs> I make it a point to kill people. Yeah, for every bug. Sure like, I'm like 90% sure that's a plot point in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. <laughs> well, maybe for every bug you don't kill, you do kill a person. Yeah. Every yeah. bug that I see, I'm like, a person's going to die today. Do you get <laughs> hired or is it independent? 
A mm-hmm. little bit of both. I, I freelance. Um, I, it's a it's a hobby, but some people do commission me to kill people for them, and you know I right. won't I won't refuse the offer. What What are your rates for like a bust, <laughs> or like a full body? What, what is the rate for that? Uh, like a full body annihilation. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do. I have a few things. I just got my very own. Uh, what's it called? Uh, put the wood in it and tend it into a bunch of chips. I have a bunch of that shit now. Oh, wow. uh, you got a wood chipper. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I have that. I can do a full body with that. Okay. Um, for a bus, I can do it real cheap. You know, I, I have my knife set. Um, this is all going on a podcast, which is what I'm realizing. And I hope everyone knows I'm sarcastic. <laughs> no, she isn't. Because this is actually extremely serious. This is the only time she's ever been serious in her life. I feel like it should be obvious that it is, but to this day, I have friends who still are like, wait, are you are you serious when I talk about anything? Sign kills people. I kill people. For a living. Yeah. Please don't it's get that living. twisted. Now, Cyan, are you working on developing, like, an Infinity Gauntlet-esque thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've been talking to Elon Musk, and we are putting out some... <laughs> great. We are working on a new... <laughs> I went over to Elon Musk and Grimes' house, and we tripped acid and had a three-way... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Go uh, on. Uh, uh, and Azalea Banks was there. Yeah, and now we're developing yeah. a new phone. Oh. That'll kill people. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, they, wait, will it? Will the phone just, as soon as you touch it to your face, it'll like put a toxin in your in your body and kill you instantly? Or well, I was thinking it was it more has... of a phone that had an app that killed people. Okay. Yeah. Like it was kind of like, like you know how you had the gun app on like your iPod. Touch? Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> the real version of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does come with ads. You and have to pay to get ads off. Yeah. And like the flame flower flo- app, you know. Yeah, exactly. We have that. And the air horn <laughs> app. And the ghost the hunting Vuvuzela. app. Yeah, y'all are oh, making man. y'all are making real versions of the scam apps. Yeah, this is just like a right. lit iPod Touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently Apple's gonna like release a car. Oh really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh when's that happening? Apparently twenty twenty and uh it like I don't know if that's actually true. I just heard it somewhere, but like God, could you imagine if they did what was the thought again? <laughs> uh the ghosts of bugs. Are the reason you oh, feel. Right. Can I so, sh- what you actually feel is the ghost of Apple's corporate greed crawling up you as they design a stupid car. Okay, can I put paint an image in your head? Yeah, sure. Oh, no. The year is 2020, and everyone's driving their Apple cars. No. Yeah. We don't have horns anymore, but you know what we do have? A little screen on the steering wheel with a bunch of emojis. And you can just emote, oh. and it like projects it into the air above yes. your car, so you can just do emojis at people. I love this. while you drive and tell all the drivers how you feel. The yes. only problem, the only problem I can think of with an Apple car is there's no windows. Ba ba da ba ba. That's that. That's our joke podcast. Woohoo! Funny. That was my favorite joke from 2008, Sam. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm really glad that, like, it's actually becoming a real, like, it might become a real thing. Because now, like, that that stupid joke everyone made, like, in middle school is going to actually be relevant. Yeah, when Apple releases their car that actually has no windows. It's, it's just all black. It's yeah. just, all, it's just call, a black pod yeah. with wheels. Well, no, it's white. It's a white pod. It, it, it's, well, you can get it it's in not both. A, it's not a car. It's like the AirPods case, and you just hop in, and it closes, and it floats down the street. Okay. <laughs> My, I really, like, I went to the mall with uh, Dempsey, Cat and M for back-to-school shopping. And we passed that apple. We passed an Apple store, and my first thought immediately turned to, I could punch through the front of that store, and it would cost them thousands. And did you? No. You pussy because ass stare- bitch. Like- <laughs> <laughs> you poser, friggin. <laughs> what do you think you like, are? The longer I stared at the Apple store, the more uncomfortable I got. It tends to like, have that aura. Like. There is nothing, like, 
warm and inviting about an Apple store at all. Everything about it just screams like, hey, we want to screw you. Mm. We're gonna we're gonna scam you. We're uh, gonna yeah, give you updates s- on your phone that make it worse. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna give you bugs. Like it's on so, your phone. It's like it's so sterile and just unnatural. <laughs> Something about it seems like a gateway to hell. It's like in those zombie movies or TV series when you like when you get to the safe camp. Right, and everything uh-huh. looks all oh, this is great, everything's perfect, everything's perfect, but you always have like, well, something's You're gonna like, go wrong. Well, because it's something's, all, something's wrong, off. and it's yeah, something's off, and it's most likely cannibalism. Well, because it's all it's a white square room <laughs> yeah. with a bunch of like high tech computers and phones, and a bunch of people all wearing the same outfit. It looks like a fucking cult. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's straight up. They like, call themselves the I'm geniuses. Saying, like the what the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> Yeah, you know? I'm saying this as an iPhone user. I hate it. Oh God, <laughs> they're the geniuses. They're th- look, guys, they're the ge- they're the geniuses. <laughs> We're not the geniuses. They are. That's their job title. I walk I walk into an Apple store and I feel the ghosts of all the bugs I've killed crawling on my skin, telling me to leave before my internal soul is sent to hell. Can I apply and to be a I genius? Yeah. And I have to spend the rest of eternity with Steve Jobs boiling in a pit of lava. Why is it? Okay, why is he there? In the lava pit. All capital, that's where all capitalists go. Great. Okay, cool. We Plus, are, didn't he, like, we are steal at the a end bunch of the episode. Of, yeah. Didn't he, like, steal a bunch of inventions from, like, his partner? Yeah, probably. So I have a dream that actually fucking... It just... Everything about it, I was like, okay, well... Dreams mean something, right? Yeah. Well, that's what we're here to do. We're here to analyze the dream and all the components of yeah. it. Yeah. Like we always do. So I, I brought in a dream. Um, and this has a few This has a few aspects. This has, it has a few things in it. So I'll, I'll try and explain it the best I can. So I'm driving uh, your car, Brett. It's yours. Uh, that's your car. Only in my head, I'm like, this is Avery's car. Huh. Uh, for people... Who do not know Avery is my friend who has moved to Portland, um, but I'm thinking this is her car, is yeah. what I'm thinking, and I'm going to pick her up from work, and she works at a restaurant which happens to be right next to the Adult Video Megaplex, which is a sex shop here in Austin. The uh, best one in town, which is not located next to a restaurant whatsoever. But this parking lot also hey, kind of looks. It's across I thirty five from a Golden Corral. Okay, but it oh. it looked like it was like next to a bookstore. All right, like. <laughs> It was like in Sunset Valley, like in a shopping center. That's prime location, right? There. Like in between the Barnes yeah. and Nobles and like the subway was the Megaplex or yeah. some shit, you yeah. know? So I'm like, well, I guess I'll go in there and wait. So I, I get out of the car and I go inside and I'm just like chilling or whatever. And then it's time to leave and this dude holds the door open for me as I walk out. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And he's like, okay, whatever. And he scurries off. And I'm like, okay. So I'm walking to the car and I'm thinking, wait, shit, do I have the keys? Avery has that weird, it's Brett's car. Avery has that weird car with like the not real key. What if I left it in the car? Like, oh God, what, what if I don't have the key? I don't feel it in my pocket. Yeah. That guy has the key and he's trying to steal the car. So I do what any reasonable person does and I hop in the passenger seat. Oh, is okay. he? so he's already in the driver's seat. He's like unlocking the driver's seat door. And I'm like, uh, I know what to like, do. Before you do that, I'm, I'm going to get, get in the, the passenger pa- seat. <laughs> yeah. And then he's suddenly at the passenger side door now. So now he's at the door trying to get in through the passenger side as if he wants the seat. <laughs> <laughs> he's still trying to steal the car, but he's like, all right, not with you in it. You yeah. know? And I'm just like screaming. I'm like, stop. And I'm trying to call 911 and my... You know, it's dream bullshit. So I'm like not typing the right numbers. I'm like yeah. typing nine one one, but somehow a five's getting in the mix, and I'm like, no, it's impossible to do like, anything. That kind of bullshit. Yeah, but apparently my screams worked because he ran off. Like my screams of like go away, stop, like worked because he did. So oh. I was like, well, what would I do now? Close the door and go in the megaplex and report this to the proper authorities. To the to the to the well, there are security guards in the megaplex. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how much clout they have <laughs> in the police industry. So I walk back in the megaplex. Sam, are you talking to someone? No. 
<laughs> what are you mumbling? Are you talking to yourself? What are you doing? I was talking to myself and saying, little did you know, it was the Megaplex. <laughs> <gasps> Sam, I already like, knew before you finished. God. My no. headphones have a separate mic from my <laughs> desk mic and... If I speak really close to my headset mic, it gets all distorted, so it was like, Little did you know, it was the Megaplex. Well, and maybe it was. Cyan, please finish the dream. Uh, twist, it wasn't. I ran into the Megaplex, and the Megaplex is no longer a Megaplex. It's now a Chipotle. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't trust those beans. And Avery's in the Chipotle. And I'm like, okay, Avery, you're off work. We got to go. Someone just tried to steal the car. And she's like, okay, cool. Let me get my burrito real quick. And I'm like, Avery, no, you don't understand. Like, that guy's still out there. And I don't have the key still. Like, he still has it. We got to go. And she's like, nah, nah, nah. I got to get my burrito first. <laughs> Let me get this, bur- please. And I'm having a panic attack. And she's just like, shh, shh, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to have the car. It's fine. But I got to get my burrito. <laughs> and that was the entire dream. Was the burrito getting made? Yeah. <laughs> And that's the entire dream. I don't know what the fuck that means. Do you expect me to? All right. Well, obviously the Megaplex is a metaphor for a safe haven. For like a safe place that you would go into for security. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, Why were you driving my car when you thought it was Avery's car? Well, it was Avery's car in this universe. Oh, it was Avery's car. Yeah. Like, Avery drove a Mitsubishi. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so it was my Mitsubishi 2012 Outlander. Yeah. But it, uh, it but was owned a- it by was Avery. Avery. Like, Avery didn't have the caliber. She had the Mitsubishi. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. And the robber represents... Uh... Not getting those great, great deals and discounts at the Megaplex. I know. I didn't go in on my birthday. You didn't go in on your... We didn't go to the Megaplex on your birthday. Yeah, we sure did. We got that birthday discount. We didn't get any discounts. And so that, that's what the robber represented, was your fear of not getting those great deals. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was... Maybe the robber represented the XXX. Oh. Which the is... Uncertainty. And uncertainty. The XXX is the sex shop right next door to the Megaplex. And, and it's much grimier than the Megaplex. The the Mega the, the adult video Megaplex is like Target. And the XXX is like a run down gas station in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's ex- that's the perfect way to describe it, but like that that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But they're right next to each other. <laughs> and they're terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But why did it become a Chipotle? Why did it become a Chipotle? <laughs> because it's a, the the Megaplex just instills this primal urge for burritos. You know what? Yeah, I've always found that when I go to the Megaplex, I'm like, mm, I'm kind of hungry. I'm kind of craving a nice pork, gigantic, head sized burrito. <laughs> why was Avery so? dead set on getting this burrito before leaving honestly me too though in a chipotle so like i, w- I wasn't really mad at <laughs> there her there was nothing weird about that part like, i woke up and i was yeah. like i don't really blame you <laughs> i woke up and i texted her and i was like it's fine that you wanted your burrito <laughs> <laughs> well you're not gonna pay nine dollars for this burrito and then just and leave it, it. Oh, yeah exactly you know that I mean, the, the, the robber left he wasn't still Trying to get in your car, as far as we know. Yeah, no, I just have I just have bad anxiety, and it, it, I'll, I'll work myself up. You know, even if he ran away, I was still freaking out about it. No, you know what? It's she was in the right. It's like, no, calm down. Like, let's get yeah. food and let's go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I was kind of I didn't have the key, and I feel like that's kind of important. How did you get in without the key? That's another good question. <laughs> yeah, how do you drive the car without? No, like I had it on me, but then like I took it into the megaplex. And then, like, while I was shopping around, this dude, po- he, he got okay. the key. He took it. That's how he unlocked All right, the and car. he ran away with the key. Yeah. Okay. Because he opened the door for me, and I was like, this is suspicious, but didn't think much of it until I was like, oh, I don't have the key. Hmm. And then I saw him, and I was like, explained. Yeah, but I don't know what the fuck that means. And uh, 
I had a dream like immediately after this. I woke up and I fell back asleep and I had another dream. And I don't think we can get into it on today since we are hitting. No, we are grossly over time. We are way over time. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like a double feature. There's like a sequel. Yeah. What? A sequel to that story? No, it's a completely different dream. Oh, okay. All right. But so we can do that. We can do that next on the next rotation I have. Okay. So it's, well, overall, what does this dream mean? Sam, what's your take? Desire. For desire. what? The dream, ex- the, the dream expresses, expresses desire. For? For wanting to get the robbed? Megaplex to start, the Megaplex to start selling burritos. Wow, those would be the most disgusting burritos on God's green earth. I feel like they would taste the way the Megaplex smells, like that very bleachy, <laughs> lemony cleaner. Oh, God. Oh, Whatever oh. air freshener they have. No, here's what the Megaplex needs to do. The Megaplex needs to have a membership. They Okay, honestly, adult video Megaplex, if you're watching this, there's no reason why y'all don't have loyalty. There's no reason why I don't have a card and why I can't be saving up points and why I can't be like a premium member, all right? If I y'all want- had premium membership accounts, more people would be more interested in going and spending more often. It's so simple. It's so easy. I'm, I'm willing to pay... 20 bucks for a membership. Not 20 bucks a month, 20 bucks a year. I'm not that I'm not that desperate. But look, if I'm going to get those discounts, if I'm going to get some free swag, maybe if I'll get like 3 tickets some in the free raffle, classes, maybe some free classes, then I'll do it. I'm my wallet's right here, Megaplex. Take it. I have a debit card. <laughs> Also, please make the adult video Megaplex credit card. Oh my god. <laughs> please, I want to I want to get the Megaplex credit card. With every purchase you get 5% off Megaplex items. And if you use it outside a store, you get a point for each $10 <laughs> spent. All right, I buy all my groceries at the Megaplex Facebook, card. Huh? Discord, Twitter, <laughs> Gmail. Thank you can find us yeah. in all the places podcasts are found. And mm-hmm. all social media. It's just everywhere, y'all. It's everywhere. I would, like to, give a, I would everywhere. like to give a shout out to our uh, people who are active on our Discord. Name, namely, Jay and Mineyful. Uh, Mineyful, your time is coming, my friend. You're, <laughs> I promise you. Don't you worry. Yeah, it, you're, uh, we are going to use one of your dreams. <laughs> that sounds really foreboding and yeah. creepy, but no, nah, we're just going to say your dream your on the next time. episode. Is coming, mighty foe. <laughs> Sorry that it's I coming. never use this server. It's coming. Yeah, Sign and I are very bad with keeping up with the Discord, but it, I'm on Discord almost constantly. So if you want to message me, just like at Grunkle Sam. Y'all can message us. Y'all can message us on any social media. Y'all can submit your dreams, laws, your thoughts. We'll gladly take them. Uh, and Sam, your last words, please. Horses are bad. Why do you always have to shout them like that? Why did it? Because you catch me off. Because you catch me off guard every time. And like I should be. I've done it like every it. episode for the past ten episodes. <laughs> no, and I should be accustomed to it, but for some reason, every time it catches me off guard, I'm like, are you just like ready to do a backflip? And you're like mid backflip, and you're like, uh, uh, horses are bad. Just take us outside. Oh, right. I do that. Yeah. yeah. It's been every episode. We've been, we're tr- well, y'all, we're trying. We're trying to keep this podcast. We're trying to do something with this. We're trying to keep it consistent. Just oh, bear yeah. with us. Yeah. Keep, it, keep, an eye out on our, keep an eye out on our Twitter and Facebook. We do have some news coming up eventually. The, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We do. Come on, Sorry, guys. We, we do. The person who's yeah. basically yeah. No, you're the right. one making this whole thing happen. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, we do have a. Th- it includes stickers. Ah. All right. Ah. Don't sweat on me any fucking more. I'm sick and tired of it. If you don't bring a goddamn towel this next time around, you're not gonna be allowed here anymore. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs>